What's up guys? Rip Trippers back at you tonight. So I've got another review for you. This has been a long time coming. I actually have had this device for the past month and for the first couple weeks I just didn't break it out. Um, wasn't really excited about it. A week ago I decided to, to pull it out. Here it is. This is the uh, Segeli Z-Max version 3. I'm gonna go over it, review it, and tell you my thoughts, what I think, and how to use it. So it comes in this box. When you pop it open, the only thing you're gonna receive is the uh, is the actual PV and an extra battery cap, end cap for the uh, for the mod. Okay. So as you can see, there's your 510 connection. You could fit anything on here from a cardo, a cardo tank. It's perfect for uh, ego threads. Here's a T3. Looks stellar like that. An EVOD. And it's even perfect because if you look, there's a space down there. And with this EVOD, your airflow is at the bottom. And because of this space, you'll get perfect airflow. Fits anything on there. From RDAs to RBAs, fits anything. It's a telescopic PV. You got the fire button right here. It's clicky. Here's the menu screen, which we'll go over in a second. The threads, this PV was made in China, just like 95% of the other vaping hardware out there. Uh, but just throw a little bit of Nolax on there and you should be fine. It came with the two battery caps. Now one's smaller and one's larger. The smaller one, from what I've experimented with, it's for the 18350 battery and the 18490 or 18500 battery. And then this cap is more ideal for the 18650 mode. This is what the PV looks like in the 18350 mode. I personally prefer the 18350 mode because I don't like any gaps. But just to show you what it looks like in uh, telescopic mode. Just twist it. Pop the battery in. Tighten it up a little bit. And that is 18490 or 18500 mode. Looks stellar. Gonna be using this uh, this RDA tonight. To turn it on, you want to do five clicks: one, two, three, four, five. And you'll see it. It says Segeli on. And then you want to do three clicks to get in the menu system. But I need to make sure that it's right side up so you guys can see it. One, two, three. It's on. That gives you the first time you click it. When you when you put your battery in there, you're gonna do five clicks, then you're gonna do three clicks, and the first option is either on or off. So if I want to turn it off, one, two, three, all I gotta do is wait for that option. Off. Turn it back on. If I want to go to the second option, one, two, three, all I gotta do is click it. Power up. and it round robins. It goes from three to 15 watts or three to six volts. Then you got power down and it's the same thing. Fourth option is battery voltage. Right now there's a freshly charged battery, 4.1 volts. Fifth option is the LCD display. You can make it to where it displays the voltage, the resistance, or the battery life. Every time you hit the fire button, it's gonna tell you what the resistance is whatever you have on here so right now it's a 3 ohm wrap okay six option LCD on or off so I can choose to turn it off so whenever I fire it it still fires as you can see here and see but nothing pops up on the LCD screen okay if I want to go back 
and turn it back on, it'll start to display it again. Okay. Next option is choosing whether I want to use wattage or voltage. Right now I'm using the wattage setting. Eighth setting is RMS or mean. You want to set this to RMS. Okay guys? And those are your eight settings right there. I've got this set to, uh, to power. I'm running it a 3 ohm wrap on an RDA. I'm running at 13 and a half watts on a freshly charged battery and it, it hits great. Great. The LCD is so clear. It's clearer than any other device that I have. That was one of the things that really impressed me was how clear the LCD screen is. The button is clicky. The only thing is, is it rattles a little bit. Other than that, this thing is solid. Stainless steel, brushed. You can see the lines right there. I mean, it looks spiffy. It's got vent holes at the bottom. I'm just digging it. I really am. I can't believe it. I've had this for a month and I decided to break it out a week ago. Uh, and I wish if I'd have known how great this product um, is, I, I would have been vaping on this. And this would have probably been in the video I did with what hardware I am vaping right now because. Um, I've been using this a lot more than I have the Lava Tube version 2 and even more than the Provari V2 which was my number one PV. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. Well the reason why I didn't you know pull this out and I wasn't really ecstatic about it was because when I ordered it they said it was going to be a flat top and that's not completely flat. And I was really disappointed with that. That was probably what disappointed me the most. And that's why I wasn't as ecstatic about this product. But the way it vapes, the way it feels, um, I mean, it's solid. I purchased this product from SigTex.com. I'll post a link below. Shipping was super fast. I ordered it uh, on a Monday and received it on a Wednesday. Highly recommended. This is the, the Segeli Z-Max version 3 telescopic PV, and I'm just uh, thoroughly enjoying it. This is Rip Trippers. Let me know if you have any questions. PM me anytime. And remember, smoking is dead. Vaping is the future. And the future is now. You guys have a great night.